OK, uh, so now let's dive deep into the data frame. Uh, so first, let's talk about how we can access data uh, from the data frame. So data frame has a very great function that called describe. So that can retain some quick statistics of your data. So if we use data frame dot describe, we will see the number of the records, the mean values, standard deviations, and also minimal values. And if you want to access a single column, so for example, if you just want to access the, the price, you can use put the label name within this square bracket. So that is like sounds like you're uh, calling treating a data frame as a dictionary so here if you see the price data frame square bracket and put the column name that price within this data frame so you will have that um, column only you can also treat data frame like a list so by using a slice so here if you see you put the number that's starting from the second rows remember it always uh, like Python index, so zero is the first one. Uh, and also you will have the second rows, okay, until um, the fifth rows. And you can also do some filters, so by using the, this LOC function, so data frame dot LOC, and within that square bracket, you can define the values that you are looking at. So for example, if you want to find out all the rows where the price is greater than 1,500, you can within this uh, square bracket, you can type date frame uh, price column greater than uh, this number. OK. Uh, so let's try those uh, um, function in functions in, the, in Python. So let's say date frame dot describe. So that will return a quick statistical summary of your data. So if we write, we can see that for numbers, um, they give you like the count, mean, standard deviation, minimal, maximal, and also quantile. OK, so that is describe function. So normally, I will, will not have a data that I, uh, loaded in Python in date frame. So I will run the describe first. So that can give us a, a general idea. And if you just want the price, so what you can do is you can treat data frame as a dictionary. Where you see if you just want a price column. Okay, now if you write, you can see you will get all the price, so all the values in the price column. Okay, and you can also treat data frame as a list, so you can slice the data. So for example, if you just want part of those rows. Uh, what you can do is you can date frame square bracket. So for example, the, sec the second rows until the fifth rows. Okay, second until the fifth. Okay, um, you can based on ID, you can say the second row, the third row, the fourth row, and also the fifth rows. And you can also make a filter. So for example, we can use a the date frame dot loc function and within this square bracket we can see date frame where i want price that is great than this number okay so now you will see that uh, you will receive the the rows that where the price, only the rows that where the price is greater than this value. Okay, so that's how we can filter out the data. And the data frame also uh, has some simple statistics. So for example, you can use value counts. So that will calculate the frequency of those, those unique values. So for example, if we want to count the, for the colors, for each type of colors, so how many records are there? We can use data frame colors dot value counts. Okay, so that will count the different type of colors, so how many records are there? And if you are using a count function, so that will count the number of the non now values in the data object. So here you can see for this column, 
we have more than 300, 308 the, uh, records. And also they have a lot of other statistics, so like the mean, median, uh, minimal, maximal, standard deviation, variance. Um, I'm not sure what is the SEM, um, standard deviation variance. Okay, so that is stand errors of the means. Okay, so SEM is a stand errors of the mean. Okay, so let's say some example here. So let's say we want look at the colors. Okay, so you can see they, ha they have different types of the colors. So they have F, D, E, etc. And if you want count, okay, so for each type of colors, so, so how many Ds we have, how many Fs we have, or we have, and we can use that value counts. Okay, so that can, okay, so we has, we can see we have 82 diamonds that are have color of F and we have 16 diamonds that color is D. And if you want to count that, um, how many records in this, in this column, we can use just use a count function. Okay, and you can see in total we have 300 and also eight. Okay, so if you sum those numbers up, so you will see, okay, so that is 308. And also remember that we also just mentioned some other statistics, like if we are looking for the price. Okay, so uh, here we have the price columns. And if we want to check the mean value, we can simply just put mean. Okay, so that's the mean value. And if you want to check, check the median okay so that is a median uh, you can also check the others like mean maximal minimal standard deviation okay and also variance okay and also the stand error of the mean so SCM okay stand error of the mean value and we also mentioned that, so we can also use some SQL-like operations that to analyze the data. So that means, I think the most powerful part is that we can do aggregations, or we can also calculate new, uh, new, uh, new values, and also we can assign those new values to a new column. So that is something that we can do in SQL, and we can also do that when in a data frame. So in the data mining class, so we will learn more about SQL. And here, so let's see that how we can do that one in data frame. So the syntax for the aggregation is that we can use this group by. Okay, so within the group by, you have to tell that, okay, so based on which column you're going to group those values. And for each type, for the values within each group, so what kind of calculation you are going to do. So in this example, we are going to group by the colors of all the diamonds, and also for each type of color, we want to calculate the average. So here we can see the average of the weight for, the, for each type of color, and also average of the price for each type of the color. Okay, so that is aggregation. And we can also uh, calculate new values. So uh, for example, here we can see for DF, where we can give the, the name of the new column, which equals some new calculations. So in this example, like, let's say that we want to use the price of each single diamond divided by the weight. And we will, re we will save that result into this new column that we call it unit price. And you can see, to do that, it's very simple in date frame. So basically, we just say, okay, date frame, new columns equals price divided by the weight. And now if you check the, uh, your, the date frame, and you can see that unit price has been added uh, to the table, to the date frame. Okay, so let's see some examples. Let's say date frame dot group by, and let's say we want group by colors. 
and let's say we want to calculate the mean value. Okay. So here we can say for each type of color, and we have the average of the weight and also price. Uh, you can also calculate the others like uh, minimal values. Okay, it's for the weight and also price. And also you can calculate the maximal values. Okay, so minimal uh, the, for the weight and also price. And you can calculate the standard deviation. Okay, so each, for each type of the color. And let's also calculate, uh, create a new uh, uh, column. So let's say that for in this existing data frame, we have the weight and also we have the price, right? So we want to add a new column that has the unit price, uh, which equals price divided by weight. So let's say data frame, uh, you need price, so that is a new column that equals date frame where the price divide by date frame. Uh, here we we have weight. Okay, so now let's look at the date frame again. OK, so now you can see we have the unit price. OK, and of course, you can calculate the other statistics for the unit price, like uh, the mean value. OK, so that's, that's very easy to do some simple uh, statistics by using Panda's data frame.